one of the exciting projects that I've been able to be a part of is the Linkage Project. This opportunity for early childhood partners and school buildings and community schools to come together and school districts to come together to really think about how we can make those connections stronger. Its goal was to essentially foster early supports and successful transitions in some community schools. Our community schools model here is very strong and nationally recognized and so it made sense that for Linkage to come in and take a look at how we can use the community schools as a vehicle for essentially connecting and creating linkages with um, our early childhood local efforts and our schools. One of the benefits of linkages is uh, having new partnerships with early ed providers. So for example, um, I have given trainings in the past to help agencies and families understand how to have a smooth start to school, learning about registration and oh, different resources that the district offers. I wasn't aware that there was a large network of home visiting services in Multnomah County. And because of linkages, I sat next to the person that coordinates some of that. As a result, I now offer um, specialized trainings for those home visitors. And that's helped me reach my goal of connecting with families who are off the education grid. So I really believe the linkages project has been phenomenally successful in really starting to get the movement of early childhood involved in the Sun School system. There really wasn't that, that focus actually really happening prior to this and now there's just such intentionality about connecting um, the community um, and all of its parts, be it the, the early childhood programs or the parents that have children in those programs or the services that support those families. Um, getting all of that connected to the school district or the local schools in which their children will be entering kindergarten. That's just a really unique thing that has really changed how the community looks at children entering kindergarten. Sitting at the table with all the folks involved in linkages has helped me and I think others look at um, kindergarten transition from a more holistic perspective. We're not just talking about kindergarten students coming in on the first day of school or coming in for a kindergarten roundup. We're looking at a family and we're looking at the needs of a whole family. Uh, there are three main components in the Kindergarten Counts effort. The first is early registration for kindergarten where we've developed a community-wide campaign to encourage parents to register their children for kindergarten early, by June preferably, um, if not earlier, so that when fall comes around, kids are registered and ready for school and the schools are ready for the students. The second area focuses on summer transition programs, creating opportunities for kids who have little to no preschool experience and kids who are transitioning from Head Start to have a place to go in the summer for two to three weeks to become comfortable with the school and the school routine. The third area of Kindergarten Counts is about promoting good attendance in kindergarten and the early grades. Chronic absence um, was something that was really brought to the attention of the community through the Linkages Project. Chronic absence is defined as missing 10% or more of the school year. And nationally, they found one in 10 kindergartners and first graders um, were missing 10% or more of the school year. When we looked at our local data, that number was one in four. It was quite startling. And so um, we brought this information, this data, to, and shared it with our early childhood and school partners. It's an indicator of a larger systemic issue. And that's not just necessarily an attendance issue or a school issue um, or that family's issue, but it becomes a community issue and that we can really come together and take a look at uh, these chronic absence rates as a good indicator of whether or not our families in our community are on the right path. In the past, we didn't know all of the agencies that were serving young children, and we have a better idea of that now. We know how to more efficiently um, work with those families and with those agencies, so that's really exciting. We are connecting around some really effective programs. We are building momentum around some of the state efforts to um, have a continuous learning environment for, for families and for schools to open their doors up more often. 
uh, before kids start school. Metropolitan Family Service is involved in this work because we see the power of community schools to make change in, um, in the communities where we work. And so Linkage is a really exciting chance to support families before they even come into the school building to really make sure that those, um, those first experiences within the school building, and particularly that kindergarten year, which is so crucial um, for students' future success, that that's positive. My greatest wish for linkages is that it continues and that we're able to continue to have such an effective, action-oriented um, table to sit at with folks that I don't usually get to talk to. What we've learned here in Multnomah County is easily applicable to other communities. There really isn't a reason why our friends in Deschutes County or Washington County or Klamath County couldn't use the materials and the lessons that we've learned here in Multnomah. We built this project on the idea that Sun Community Schools or a community school by its very nature really creates a supportive environment to support transition into school. And I think the Linkage Project has demonstrated the success of that. So we have a broad community vision in Multnomah County that every school become a community school. And if we have that, we can continue to tie the early kindergarten transition to that and really build a supportive educational community for all of our kids.